Right now, Turkey is facing a massive earthquake. Turkey is now pronounced as Turkiye. It started yesterday, that is Monday. Three tremors were felt yesterday. But today, again a 5.6 magnitude earthquake has struck the central Turkey region. This is the fourth tremor. Yesterday, three tremors were felt, both in Turkey and Syria. The epicenter of the first earthquake is said to be near Nurdagi district of Gaziantep province which is located in the southeastern part of Turkey, very close to the Syrian border. Now, the epicenter of an earthquake is the point on Earth's surface which is directly above the focus point. And focus point is the point within the Earth where the actual seismic activity takes place. Focus point is also called hypocenter. I hope you have understood what an epicenter of an earthquake means. One more thing that you need to understand is that the epicenter is the location where the seismic waves are the strongest and where the earthquake is felt most strongly. It's also the location where the earthquake's damage is likely to be the greatest. So the epicenter of this earthquake is said to be in the region of Nurdagi. This region is surrounded by beautiful landscapes and scenic countryside. Agriculture is a major industry in the area with crops such as cotton, wheat and barley being grown in the fertile fields. Now what you also have to understand is that earthquakes are common in Turkey as the country is located in an active seismic zone. Turkey is located in a highly active seismic zone, making it one of the most earthquake-prone countries in the world. The country sits at the boundary between the African, Eurasian and Arabian tectonic plates and as a result, experiences frequent earthquakes. This earthquake happened because of the movement of the African and Arabian plate against the Eurasian plate. At the tri-junction of these three plates lies the focus point of this earthquake. Gaziantep province is the epicenter of this earthquake and the effect of this earthquake is being felt both in the northern part of Syria, the northern part of Cyprus and in the southeastern part of Turkey. Monday's first earthquake was of 7.8 magnitude and today it is 5.6. Here is the Richter scale that shows the impact of earthquake's magnitude. As you can see, anything above 5 is scary as well as destructive. And we are also getting to hear in the news that this earthquake has killed more than 4,000 people and toppled thousands of buildings across the region. Many countries have started sending emergency relief material and aid. United States government has sent, even Indian government has sent emergency relief material. Along with them, many other countries have sent. While most of the international aid was headed towards Turkey, Russia said it also planned to send assistance directly to its close ally, Syria. This also reminds us that even northern part of Syria is badly hit by this earthquake. And looking at the current situation of war-torn Syria, many countries would be reluctant in sending any kind of relief material to Syria. So it is good that Russia has decided to take up the Syrian responsibility. Now the important thing about tectonic plates is that it does not necessarily move towards one direction. If that is what is coming into your mind. No, it is not like that. They can move in any direction. The movement of tectonic plates is driven by the convection of material in the Earth's mantle, which creates a slow and continuous motion of the plates. This motion can cause plates to collide, diverge or slide past each other, leading to the formation of earthquakes, volcanic eruptions and the creation of new oceanic crust. But in this situation, the Arabian and African plates are pushing towards the Eurasian plate, that is towards the northern and northwestern side. And the trijunction point of these three plates has become the focus point of this earthquake. And exactly above the focus point, that is on the Earth's surface, you will find the epicenter of this earthquake. So this is the whole news and story behind the earthquakes in Turkey and Syria. I hope you found this video informative. Thank you for watching it.